um, we we had we had some controversy, you know, in in, in the media world with a current NBA player the, the, over the past uh, two days. Oh, well, there we go. We back out of here. We, had, we so Patrick Beverly. Um, a lot of people feel like he broke the code as a player, current player, um, going at Chris Paul the past couple of days. Um, when I first when I first saw the all of the clips of Patrick Beverly, when I first watched everything, I was I was on that same wave as well. Cause I'm like, man, you know, you 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 taking this thing a little bit too personal, you know, like it's 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 coming off as a, a, a scorned woman type of, you know, hell have no fury. That whole that whole thing, the way you coming at at, at uh, Chris Paul. But then I th- and I thought about it and I said, you know what? Why why does everything have to be so politically correct all the time, especially if that's actually how you feel in a situation? Why not let that brother speak how he how he wants to speak? As long as he ain't disrespect him as a man, he ain't talk about his family or anything like anything like that. As long as it's just basketball, which is at the end of the day, it's all a competition. Everybody is is in competition. You know, you know what I mean. So why, why not? You know what I mean. And um, obviously, I'm not the only one that feels that way because uh, I was reading earlier that Barstool uh, offered him a blank check to do a podcast <laughs> over there. So obviously, somebody likes what's going on with Patrick Beverly. So yeah, why? You know what? I, after that, I was okay with it. But what was your take on it? On this scoop, Patrick Beverly coming at Chris Paul the way he did. Um, how'd you feel about it? Get your money. Okay. <laughs> Can't say it no better than that. That's and that's what it looks like he's going to do because again, Barstool, <laughs> they rolled that. You remember? You remember a couple of years ago when Isaiah Thomas was still in Boston? He said they're going to have to bring out the Brinks trucks for me. Well, they Barstool brought out the Brinks truck <laughs> for Patrick Beverly. I don't know whether or not he's going he's going to take that offer, but I mean, anybody throw a blank check at me, and I know these these got these guys got money out there. I'm going to start me a podcast on Boston <laughs> if they call me up and uh, say, listen, we got a blank check out here for you, Trip. We want you to come over to Boston. I will make some things happen. Let me I'll have my people call your people. I'll talk to Scoop, see what he got to say about it, and then, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. And uh, that's how we we go and move and groove in that in that situation, you know? You know, I have an agent now, so I, I'll just refer to my agent. They'll look over the contract, and then you know we go from there. I, that's I, a, that's how we do. We gotta take care of the family, man. That's you can't ask for nothing more than that. 